welcome to more Arflex. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how you can improve your Arflex scores, basically. I know I'm not amazing at the game, but I've started to realise little things that you can do to help you. Firstly, use an Xbox controller. I don't know why, but I just find it infinitely easier. You know, people might have their own preferences, but for me, that really helps. Secondly, as with any game like this in Super Hexagon, you need to look for little patterns. It's all pattern based. So instead of just randomly uh, reacting to a stimulus, you know, so if there's one at the top, you go to the bottom, and then you've got to keep on keep on edge, you know. Um, with this, you can actually look at for a pattern, and once you see the pattern, you can think, oh, I know I need to go up next. So um, in this video, that's what I'm going to try and show you. This is our first pattern. As you can see, it is weaving in and out of a two outside and the centre one. I put it on the slower here so you can see much better. As you can see, it's the two out, then the inner, then you go back, and this repeats three times. The next pattern we're looking at is sort of a chicane. As you can see, you need to weave from one extreme of the side of the square to the other. So I've shook put it on slow again, as you can see. Um, this repeats four times. This is the next pattern I want to look at. It's almost a stepping up. It will go from the bottom to the medium to the top. Uh, this only happens three times because that's how many ways you can go up. It just happens in this instance. It happened twice in a row. So look, as you can see, the bottom, middle, and then the top. Now I'm sure there's many more patterns along, but I haven't quite worked them out yet as this is my first day playing the game. As as you can see, there are also lots of random little bits thrown in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.